August 5, 1960, 63 years ago today, Burkina Faso gained her independence. 63 years later today, we're here remembering what the sacrifice, the forefathers, and all those who found the nation of Burkina Faso sacrificed to make sure that the people of Burkina Faso live in peace. But the sad thing is, the independence that they gained 63 years ago, it was not really independence because for the couple years, we have witnessed Burkina Faso fighting for their independence. When you talk about Burkina Faso, most of us we think and we remember the great leader of Africa, Captain Thomas Sankara. What he believed in, what he fought for, and how he saved his people of Burkina Faso. One of the very famous quotes of Sankara is, whoever feeds you controls you. Because he clearly knew that in order for Africa to redeem herself from the shock of colonialism and economic dependence, we must first and foremost feed ourselves. We must provide food to our table and not rely or depend on foreign aid. Sankara, he did everything he could to fight for the nation of Burkina Faso. On August 2nd, 1984, the president captain Thomas Sankara, he decided to rename his country from Upper Volta to Burkina Faso, which means the land of the upright or the land of the honest people to make sure that the country reflect the people of Burkina Faso. But we all know that he did not live long because he was betrayed by his best friend and eventually he was killed. And this is the message that I want to portray all across the continent of Africa and Africans who are living outside of the continent. That for so long we've been blaming the West, we've been blaming colonialists. But the truth of the matter is, most of the time we turn against each other. We betray each other, we sell each other, just like our forefathers who sold our ancestors to slavery. Africa, if we do not realize that we are one people and if we do not realize that africa never had a friend we don't have friend we'll never have a friends we're gonna continue to struggle for our unity sadly 63 years later burkina faso is still fighting for her independence and we all know what is happening right now in Niger, and we know what burkina faso mali is standing with Niger to make sure that they gain her complete independence but even right now in Burkina Faso, they have a military regime, transition time to make sure that this country is going to remain in peace for as long as it takes. He made sure that the people of Burkina Faso live in peace with everything that they have. One of the very famous quotes of Thomas Sankara, he once said that whoever feeds you controls you. Believing that for Africa to stand for ourselves, we need first and foremost to feed ourselves and today i'm here to remind the people of burkina faso and the people of africa that this very day august 5th 2023 63 years later after independence of burkina faso that we still have the work to do because the end of colonialism it was actually the beginning of the fight of independence of africa yes we are free from colonialism but we are still dependent economically and today we are here where we are and sadly most of french colonized countries they have always been colonized even their independence that they gained it was not really independence and we're witnessing today what is happening in Niger, what happened last year in mali what is happening in burkina faso what is happening in chad what is happening in most of the countries in the western part of africa but today i want to remind you guys that africa can actually stand for herself africa can actually have leaders who are uncorrupted leaders who are strong leaders who have a vision for africa and to see the bright future for africa so i'm going to share with you few of the quotes 
of Thomas Sankara that he shared a long time ago before he was betrayed by his own best friend and eventually killed. And since then, Burkina Faso has never been the same. We have to work at decolonizing our mentality and achieving happiness within the limits of sacrifice. We should be willing to make. We have to recondition our people to accept themselves as they are, to not be ashamed of their real situation, to be satisfied with it, to glory in it even. This is one of the very famous quotes Thomas Sankara he said. And just by looking at this quote, it gives you perspective what kind of leader he was. His intention was to decolonize the mind of our people. His intention was to remind his people the potential they have, to remind the people the ability they have to actually decide and to do anything they want to do, to remind the people that they must accept who they are and they must fight every single day until the end of the day to make sure that they improve their country and their people. While revolutionaries as individuals can be murdered, you cannot kill ideas. Oh my God. And basically he was talking about himself, that you might kill people, you might kill the messengers, but you will never kill the message. And we are witnessing today, the General Captain Ibrahim Torre, a couple days ago, he stood before the president of Russia, Putin, speaking boldly, passionately, about the continent of Africa and how much he wants to see change in the continent of Africa. As if the new Sankara is born today. But it shows you what kind of leader he used to be, what kind of leader he was. That yes, we might be killed. Yes, we might be beaten. Yes, we might be punished. Yes, we might be tortured. But you shall never kill the idea because until today, the ideas of Thomas Sankara still alive and well they're living today in our hearts when people stand up imperialism trembles you see he was calling upon the people of Burkina Faso in Africa that you must stand for yourself do not be scared do not fear because when you stand up for your country and you stand up for your people imperialism tremble and the fear is the gateway to colonialism Never be ashamed of being African. This is one of another famous quote he shared with us that you should never be ashamed of Africa. We all know how much media and the history that we know has always been undermining Africa. For example, one of the very famous examples is that you used to be monkey before human being. You should never be ashamed of yourself. You should be proud of your skin. You should be proud of who you are. You should be proud of your continent regardless of all the challenges that we are facing. The first thing and foremost, know who you are, be proud of yourself. And the, the, and the next thing is to change this beautiful continent. We must dare to invest the future. This guy was a very young man, but since then he wanted to impregnate these ideas and these beautiful revolutionary ideas to the next generation and he said we must dare always to challenge and to invent the future because nobody else is going to create a future for you not russia not chinese not americans not europeans not Turks. but we can invent our own future africans and we must build our house and thomas sankara he showed that very well to us also he say he who feeds you controls you. We all know this famous quote that we cannot continue to depend on the West, East, or even Middle East. We cannot continue to depend on them. We must depend on ourselves. We must rely on what we have. We must sanction ourselves before they sanction us because they've always been wanting to control us and manage us by sanctioning us. But Africa, we must sanction ourselves because when we sanction ourselves, we basically sanction them. We must cut ties with them and we must focus on the inside. We must focus in our unity because without unity, there will never be a future for Africa. And we must unite and the time is now, not tomorrow, not any other time. I want people to remember me as someone whose life has been helpful 
to humanity. Let me ask you a question. What are you remembering Sankara for? This is what he wanted to be remembered. And I can tell you today that we all remember Thomas Sankara for what he did, for the sacrifice he made for his own people. And that's why he's a hero and his legacy is still living in us today. It took the madman of yesterday for us to be able to act with extreme quality today. I want to be one of those madmen. He was ready to be crazy for his people. He was ready to be crazy for Africa. He was ready to sacrifice his own life for the revelation of Burkina Faso people. And we all know that because of his sacrifice, Burkina Faso is here today. And he's going to take another Thomas, Thomas Sankara of today. He's going to take another bold youth, another bold leaders to stand today for Burkina Faso. So that 63 years later, the next generation will live in complete peace and it is possible. We must dare to invent the future. We must choose either champagne for a few or safe drinking water for all. Thomas Sankara. We must decide. Are we going to celebrate just few of us? Or are we going to make sure that all of us we celebrate? Are we going to make sure? Are we, are we going to celebrate the unity of one country in Africa and disregard the rest of 54 different countries in Africa? Are we going to celebrate the liberation of local Africans within the continent and forget the African descendants that are all over the world, in the Caribbean, in America, in Brazil, in Europe, in Asia? Are we going to forget them? We must choose either to celebrate champagne for the few or safe drinking water for all. Man, these and so many other quotes of Soman Sakara remind us today who kind of leader he was. And it's a challenge to you leaders of today of Africa. Do you have this same mentality as Soman Sakara had? Let me remind you Burkina Faso, my people. Let me remind you Africans that we can still have Thomas Sankara today. You can be the Thomas Sankara of today. You can be Thomas Sankara of tomorrow. And we can change this beautiful continent. And it will never be the same. So let me call upon African Union. Let me call upon ECOWAS. That this is the moment. This is the momentum. We must tap into it. Please ECOWAS. Please African Union. We can all avoid this war. We can all avoid this war against our people. We can all avoid this war. We can all avoid killing each other. Because people who are going to die in this war are African soldiers, are Nigel soldiers. But we can stop it and save their lives. Why going to war? Please listen to what people say. Please listen to what majority of Africans say. We don't want war. We don't want to be killed. We don't want to be taken down. We want to survive. We want to live. It is the time for these organizations to work for Africa. And it is the time for Africa to come together as one and stand for ourselves because we don't have other friends. Outside of Africa, there's no other friend of Africans. We must choose now to celebrate each other. We must choose now to stand for one another. I can tell you clearly that there's a specific agenda to this war. How many wars in Africa happen in Western media? They don't cover it at all. But look at Nigel war. Everybody's covering about this time. Everybody's covering about this matter because there is agenda behind the scene. Whether we know it or we don't know, but Africa is the time to stand for our countries and to stand for our people. I'm calling upon one Africa. I'm calling upon all Africans to stand for our people. We can either choose to do it now or not at all. Because if you don't do now, there's no guarantee that we're going to have a future tomorrow. Produit suffisamment de quoi nous nourrir. Nous pouvons dépasser même notre production, malheureusement. Par manque d'organisation, nous sommes encore obligés de tendre la main pour demander des aides alimentaires. Ces aides alimentaires qui nous bloquent, qui 
nous inspire, qui installe dans nos esprits cette habitude, ces réflexes de mendiants, d'assister. Nous devons mettre de côté ces aides par notre grande production. Il faut réussir à produire plus. Produire plus. Produire plus parce que il est normal que celui qui vous donne à manger vous dicte également ses volontés. Nous ne consommons que ce que nous contrôlons. Il y en a qui demandent mais où se trouve l'impérialisme. L'impérialisme, regardez dans vos assiettes. Quand vous mangez les grains de, les grains de riz, de maïs, de mille importés, c'est ça, c'est ça l'impérialisme. N'allez pas plus loin. N'allons pas plus loin. Peace is at the very heart of human development. Peace I bring you. The peace of God that surpasses all understanding. That statement attributed to Jesus Christ is not only known to him. I can refer to many religions, both within and without Africa, that talk about peace. Peacemakers and peacemaking are, is critical because we recognize that without peace, without tranquility, you cannot realize your potential. And, and African communities, like other communities, have always had means of mediating conflict. Because conflict is part and parcel of human engagement, part and parcel of society. And it is therefore important to reiterate that peacemaking is an exercise that must never be poo-pooed, it must never be abandoned. Of course, peacemaking is not always successful, but history has also taught us that all conflict throughout the ages always end with peace. So you choose either to engage in war and suffer the pain, then make peace, or make peace in order to avoid war. The choice is ours. Thank mm -hmm. you.